Hello Internet! Well today I'm going to show you uh, some additional plugins you can use with WordPress. And just to start this video off, just in case somebody doesn't know, if you want to install new plugins on your WordPress website, you click on plugins, or you can click on add new there, or you can click add new there, and then you would type in, I don't know, I'll just type something in here random. Then you click on install over here on the right, and then you click on install now. Here, I'll do it. And that's basically all you do. And then you click on activate plugin if you want to activate that plugin. I went and installed some of these uh, plugins ahead of time. Today I'm going to go over the all in one SEO pack, the app to any, calendar, and clean contact. All solid plugins. Click on activate. A little message comes up here you need to uh, fill in some information for this plugin to work properly. Go to the admin page. Plugin status, I leave that enabled. And what is great about this is it provides you a very easy way to, to overload all of your pages with keywords. So I want to go for home title, home description, home keywords. Just so you know, your home title on average should only be 60 characters in length. Your description should only be around 160. And your overall keyword should be around 25 because Google doesn't necessarily like the keyword usage in regards to your keyword meta tags. You want to leave everything else here pretty much as default. It's really great. I sometimes click on this use categories for meta keywords. I like that. Dynamically generate keywords for post page. I mean it generates all of your keywords so it does a lot of work for you that you might not want to do. Log important events. I'm going to leave that. Check that off. And basically that is all you do. And then you come down here and hit update options. Now what just happened? Well, when every time, let's say you want to make a new post, this is a brand new website by the way, so there's nothing on it. So if I hit edit, you can see down here, all in one SEO. And you can see here, what's great is, remember I said no more than 60 characters, no more than 160? Well, it's gonna count for you the number of uh, characters you're using in your title and your description so that you won't go over that. It's really just a dynamite, dynamite tool. And then you over here, of course, you would put your, your tags, which are keywords. And I would also fill in the excerpt area. If you make reference to any other information on other websites, definitely you should send trackbacks. It's, it's really nice. And then you can create a whole bunch of other custom fields, custom metadata. I mean, it's just dynamite. So it's a great tool. And you can see it's very easy to load. Okay, now I'll show you how to use a tool called Add to Any. And to any WordPress plugin makes it easy for users to disseminate your content. Why would you want others to post your articles on Facebook, for example? Because by doing this, you increase the number of visitors to your site and increase the number of incoming links to your site. This plugin allows people simply to easily post links to all major social networks and email your articles and even bookmark your website. So let's go in. I already clicked on Activate. I'm going to click on Settings. And basically you decide how big you want the service to be, or the little tool. Click on that size, that looks about right for me. Then you have to decide on where you want it placed. Bottom of, of posts, dynamite. Bottom of pages, bottom of posts and feed. I leave that out. Display share and save button at the bottom of pages, that's fine. Uh, hide embedded objects, perfectly fine. And you can put additional JavaScript variables and so forth and so on to edit the different places where Add to Any will be able to send information. And then you click on Save Changes. That's it. Now, you want to look and see what it looks like. And by the way, this is a website designed completely in Artister. If in reference to a previous video that I did on Artister, I think it looks pretty nice. I mean, there's no content, but that's because it's brand new. Let's reload it. And you can see there's Add to Any. People can post on Facebook, Twitter, stumble upon, da 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 da. They can email an article or real simply and easily bookmark the website. That's Add to Any. Great tool. Love it. And if you want people to create incoming links to your website and disseminate your information, Add to Any's the way. Would you like to add a contact form to your site that hides from spam, doesn't require a caption, and is easy to use? Well, if the answer to that question is yes, Clean Contact is the plugin for you. Click on Activate. Plugins activated. You can see it popped up over here under your plugins. Click on that. Type in whatever your email address is. 
subject preference so that you know it came from Clean Contact. Want to display a thank you message? Click on this button to filter all the messages through spam. And then copy this right here. It's in brackets clean dash contact. Save settings. Settings saved. Okay, let's just create a page right now. Page. Add new. Contact us. Paste right in there. Just hit publish. See over here on this page? That's all I had to do. Reload it. Boom. Contact us. If I click on it, when contact pops up, they type in the information, hit send, and that's all she wrote. Imagine, if you will, that if I wanted people that did not speak English to be able to read the information on my website, if I wanted to do that, I would install a plugin called Google Translator. It's right there. Basically, you hit install, you hit activate, you're ready to go, except for one thing. Click on appearance, click on widgets, Google Translator, right here, grab it, drop it in your sidebar, give it a name, whatever your language is, hit save, jump over to the website, hit reload, automatically comes down here, somebody comes to your website that speaks Danish, click on translate, boom, whole entire website's in Danish. Let's say you wanted a nice easy way to embed the YouTube videos onto your website by Bruce Video Quick Tags is for you. Just install it, click activate, activate it. Now, let's create a post. It's really this simple. Boom. This is Viper's Video Quick Tags. Now let's say I wanted to embed a YouTube video. All I do, click right there. Click on YouTube. It says right here exactly what you need. Jump over into YouTube. Grab the URL for an absolutely awesome video. Jump back into my post. Hit cut, paste. You can change the dimensions if you like. Hit OK. Always remember to hit update. Preview changes. Automatically embeds video. Piece of cake. Okay, well that's it for now. If nobody knew, this is my website right here, New Think Tank. Next video I put out is going to go over to this sweet little guy here, Dynamic Content Gallery. Going to cover the plugin Intense Debate, the MailChimp plugin, Sexy Bookmarks, Socialite, and if I can fit it, WordPress Mobile Pack. Till next time.